Hello, my sumo peeps. Uh, this is to go along with my last thing, uh, withered things. Is somebody privated me and asked me, how do you turn something that is a clear PNG file, which is what I have hidden underneath, to something solid? So I thought, I will show you. And this actually will happen pretty quickly. So this is what... I had one of the things I had included under withered things and if you wanted to make this solid like if you look at it over this green background you see right through it but there's a way to make it solid and that's to add another layer put that layer underneath that and fill that with white paint bucket tool white okay now merge this down so the white and the leaves are together now we will select all the white areas. And that means we have to push plus and go into these little holes thing, holes too. And then we do edit cut. And voila. And we still have one more area that we need to get rid of, that little white area right there. That's, uh, and we still there. Cut. That's not what I meant to do. Edit undo. Select deselect. Okay, now we'll select that. Edit cut. Select deselect. And look, we have leaves that are solid. And you can see if I move them. You can do whatever you want with them. So, and then if you want to color them, I'll show you how to do that very quickly. Select pixels. Add a new layer, although we have to select pixels again. On this top layer. Let's say we want to paint these leaves different colors. So let's take a brush tool. Turn flow all the way up size up as far as it goes and let's just choose a soft brush like so and let's say we want to paint them orange okay and I'm just gonna sort of do flip it all the way around <laughs> actually what might be easier is to kind of do this Okay, let's take a different color. Let's take green. Take our brush again. Except let's uh, take a spotted brush. I know this looks kind of weird, but just bear with me. It'll actually turn into something. You'll notice on my page that I've been coloring a lot of things like this lately. Just sort of doing random stuff. Just clicking away here. And let's choose uh, red. Or no. More of a red, red. There we go. Let's choose another brush. Let's choose. You know, let's do this weird water brush. Actually, that probably wasn't the best selection because that actually kind of whitens, but we'll see how it turns out. It might turn out cool. I like experimenting a lot because you'll be surprised what you find if you just experiment. And then you'll know on another image that you want that effect how you got to it. Okay, so let's select, deselect. And those look weird, don't they? But let's change the blending mode. Let's try darken, kind of interesting. Multiply, kind of interesting. Linear burn, yeah, it's sort of cool. I'm feeling overlay is going to be the best, but ooh, those are kind of cool. Mm, I don't know if I like overlay. I think I liked multiply. I think that looks good right there. 
So, and here's another thing you can do. Select pixels on the bottom layer, right? Now let's select the upper layer. Now let's do filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Let's sort of blur that up a little bit, okay? Select, deselect, and look at that. So we have very autumn -y colored leaves, um, nicely, nicely colored. They actually look like real leaves. So, and there's many things you could do. I mean, you could, let's see, merge this layer down. Adjustments levels. And we can kind of play with the, the contrast a bit. This image is pretty large though, so it's a little harder to do. I'm just going to say OK, adjustments, hue, and saturation. If you wanted to play with the colors a little bit more, you know, come up with some really interesting colors. So there you have it. That's how you make a see-through PNG object solid. It gets more complicated on more complicated PNGs. Um, and you can also color them and do all sorts of stuff. So I hope that helps. Um, go ahead and take part of that uh, challenge, which I will include a link in this video. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.